Good morning, folks. Today I wanted to show how you could really quickly build a random name generator um, for a list of uh, names that you have, whether it's a teacher with the list of a uh, roster of students, maybe you have a group of people uh, in, in a conference and you've gathered their names and you want to quickly be able to um, randomly choose a name. So here's how it works. I have formatted this. We'll go over how I did this, but I just clicked my random name generator and each time I click the random name generator, I'm getting a different list name from my list. Now it's possible you'd get the same name uh, two times in a row. Let's see how to build this. I'm just going to start here from scratch. I'm going to do sheets.new and I'm going to have a brand new sheet. And the first thing I think I'll do is rename this to uh, roster just because. And then um, what I need, and go, I'll go ahead and name this, uh, we'll call this a random uh, name generator. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call it that. So just starting here, what I want to, what I need to do is grab a list of names. And I think I have that on my clipboard and um, Right now, let's go ahead and reset the text to white. And um, so you can see I've got a list of names A through A2 through A51. And with that list of names set up in that column, I can go ahead and get started. So the next step would be to go to extensions and app script. And in this case, we will go ahead and get rid of, um, well, we'll leave this set up this way, but I'm going to call my function set random name. So I'll just rename my function to set random name. And let's get started with how this function is going to work. Put a little space in there and we'll go, um, first of all, we'll type let sheet equal And we'll type uh, spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Notice how that's popping up. Um, we use the parentheses dot get sheet by name. And our sheet that we're using is roster. Then we'll um, go ahead and finish out this. Let target equal sheet because we just identified the sheet dot get range and the range that we want that target to do is b2 so we put in a single quote b2 and that gets our range let um, list equal so the list is equal to the sheet. We've identified the sheet dot get range, uh, get range. And in this case, the range is A2 colon, in my case, B51. You might use a different range there. And then um, we want to get those values, get the values of that list. Then let flat list, and we have to define this flat list because uh, let me explain this. Uh, the, let flat list equal, uh, let me finish typing that in, equals list dot list dot flat. And the reason we need to do that is, uh, let me let me show real quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and save this project. And I think I'll better give it a title. This is a random random name generator. Uh, let's spell that correctly. Okay. 
And let me just do a console.log and show you. So console.log. Let's take a look at what the list is. And we want to see what list looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, the first time you run a script, you have to uh, authorize it. So I'll do that real quickly. Authorize the script. And this is a uh, G Suite uh, Google Workspace domain. So um, this is the authorization that I come up with. And what I wanted to show you is I get a, an array of these names, but it's an array of arrays. And that's the reason we need to flatten it. So then we, uh, let me show what this would look like if I do a console.log um, list or flat list. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and save that and run that. So what we'll see here, notice we get, we get a, first of all, we get a list of um, actually, here's our one of our problems. That needs to be A51. Sorry about that. Let's run that again. So you see that list of names. The first array is an array of arrays. I have an array uh, a bracket, and then each, each uh, name's in a, an array in and of itself, and then the ending bracket. If I flatten it, I just get a list of names as a single array, and that's what I needed to do that. So let's take that array. Now we can uh, we can comment these out. We we aren't going to need these anymore. And let's go ahead and then we want to let. Actually, it'll be a little bit faster. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, copy this this line of code in real quick. Be a little bit faster. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let random name equals. We're going to take the flat list. Uh, and then we're going to use the math.floor and we're going to round this math random number, which is the length of the flat list length. So we're going to come up with a random number and then we're going to do target dot set value. Uh, we'll, we'll set the value. The value we're going to set in our target B2 is going to be random name, which we have just created. Let's go ahead and save that. And then let's take a look. Here's B2. Let's come back and run this and see if it works. Come back here. Yep, we have a random name in B2. Uh, the, re the rest of what we're going to do is, is uh, go ahead and uh, format that the way we want. But that, uh, that should be I think I'll delete these extra lines. That is all that we need to do with our list or with our um, generator. The next thing I think I'll do is grab this name because I want to make sure I get this function name exactly correct. I'll go ahead and copy that. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to uh, insert a drawing. And sometimes with uh, drawings like this, I like to use this uh, button shape. And I'll go ahead and, you know, make this button and, you know, I might just call this random name. And what I can do then is take that and go ahead and, you know, I can make this, you know, much, much bigger. I can make it uh, bold and italic. Um, I could center it, center it this way, change its color, background color to something, maybe something like that, maybe change my text to white, something like that. And then I can go ahead, save and close. And now I have this button I can use. The rest of this, um, basically, um, what I've done is, and in the example I've, I've shown, is I have gone ahead and uh, made, I've gone ahead and made this row uh, black. I've actually gone ahead and hidden the text in there by making it uh, making this text black. Um, and then I'm basically going to take a big chunk of this and I'm going to merge it. And now I have Steven in there. And now that I've got a name in there, let me center. Let me center this way. Let me make this big like 200. 
Um, let me decide that I want to choose something like this and maybe make this background something like this and maybe make my text white. Okay, so now I, I, I can resize this. I could go ahead and take column M and uh, turn it black and maybe resize it. Uh, maybe resize uh, this column. So I'm, I'm trying to make a, uh, go ahead and make this one black. Uh, and then what I could do is my last name here is in 51. I'm going to select row 52 do on my Mac, command shift down arrow. That would be control shift down arrow on a PC. Go ahead and delete all those extra rows. And also here, command shift right, delete all those extra rows. And then now what I'd like to do is hide everything from here on down. So I'll do view, group, show that as a group, hide it, maybe make this row just a little bit taller. Um, there we go, something like that. So now I have my random name generator, doesn't quite work yet because I have to go ahead and assign a script. So the three dots on my uh, drawing and I paste in set random name and now when I do that, I've already authorized the script. There we go. I have a random name generator. Now you could add this random name generator to any spreadsheet you have by just building this simple little script um, in the script generator. And then you would have on this spreadsheet, your random name generator or any other spreadsheet, you would have a list of uh, names from your roster that you could when you're working in uh, with your students, just create a random name. Hope you enjoy this. If so, please subscribe.